In this video, I will show you how to upgrade the Paxton Net2 software from version 4.28 to version 5.0. First, I'll show you how to back up the database of an existing installation. Now, This is a good thing to do just in case something happens during the install. The backup utility is located in the Net2 configuration utility. Click on the Database tab. and click the Create Copy button. This will stop the server, create the copy, and restart the server once it's finished. Choose a place other than the Net2 folder. Now I'll place it on the desktop. And here is the zip file it created. The zip file contains all the user information and settings in the Paxton Net2 software. Now I'll close the configuration utility. From this point, the process is the same as installing the software. The file you downloaded from Paxton is a zip file. WinZip or WinRAR can open and extract this type file. I'll have links to these programs in the post. This is the zip file I downloaded from Paxton. Now I'll provide a link in the post. This file is 714 megabytes. It may take a while for the file to download. I'm going to extract the files from the zip file. In this video, I'll use WinRAR. This is the folder with all the files extracted. Open the folder, open this folder, and you'll see the install folder. In the install folder, double click on the setup file. If you click the Options button, you can specify the locations for the program and database. I recommend leaving these locations as default unless you have specific needs. Pick the version of the software you would like to install. I'm going to install the light version. This is the free version from Paxton. Agree to the terms and click install. Click yes and the installation will begin. The installation can take up to 20 minutes depending on the computer. I'll pause the video, get a cup of coffee and return when the installation is completed. Okay, the installation is complete and now we'll continue. To find out about the new features in 5.0, click the link or in the description. And thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.